and then you can see he's just running straight down the middle of the field with no coverage so all I really have to do is just bomb it up and we have a very easy one play touchdown against just about any single defense in the game and he's gone by a good 30 to 40 yards he had to stop and come back to the ball that's how far gone he is for the cheapest, fastest, most reliable muck coins on the market, check out my coin sponsors at AOEAH.com and use discount code MONEY for 3% off. Link in the description below. Welcome back, Money Team. This is Mad Money Shot. Sniff of the Mad Cheese, as always. Got a short video for you guys today. Today, I'm going to be going over a glitch that I really want to address. Uh, but I've seen so many videos about it now, none of which really had a lot of views, but ultimately I've seen a glitch that's out. It seems to be getting enough attention that I figured I might as well bring it to my audience. Uh, now, the glitch that I'm going to be showing you guys today, I've seen it called the double pass glitch, the two pass Woo! glitch. To me, it's more like a flea flicker, but it's definitely glitchy. It's definitely something that uh, breaks the defense and something that EA has probably got to patch. So I don't want to basically give it something that's a common football term because it definitely is a glitch. Now, the playbook that I'm in is the Buffalo Bills, uh, although the formation that I'm in is in a lot of different playbooks. Uh, the formation itself is the single back wing slot. I think you can find it in just about any playbook in the game. The play that I'm going to do this out of, although realistically you can do this out of just about any single formation in the game, just as long as you do this setup I'm going to show you, is the four verticals. So let's go ahead and let's pick that. On the defensive side, it really doesn't matter what you're looking at because this will glitch out the entire defense. So we're just going to go uh, random odd. Now you're definitely going to want to practice this because there's a lot that can go wrong, but ultimately there's really only two things you need to do that you can make this play work from just about any formation in the game number one you're gonna to want to put this tight end here on a streak uh, you can pretty much put any receiver on a streak I've done this out of bunch formations and stuff like that as well and number two you're gonna to want to put this running back here on a swing right now if you guys don't know that's basically the right stick to the right to do that uh, other than that I like tight end uh, formation like this where there's a tight end in line you can basically make an additional blocker because ultimately I'm going to be sprinting in the direction of the running back. So it's going to be helpful to have a an additional blocker to basically seal the edge. So at this point I can either double team this outside guy or I can just slide my protection to the right. I find that double teaming uh, works best. That's something that a lot of people do in a lot of different plays anytime they're trying to run with quarterbacks with escape artists. This is a trick that's been in the game a while. And then you're going to see once the play starts, I'm basically just going to sprint in the direction of the running back, throw him the ball, and then flip the ball back to the quarterback. And then you'll see that this receiver here is still running his route wide open down the middle of the field, uh, which is essentially what makes this play so successful. So let's go to the replay and check out what happened there. There's a couple different things that you have to make sure you do when you run this particular play. Number one, you have to get outside the hash marks before you throw the ball to the running back. I don't think it works if you do it from inside the hash marks, although I'm not 100% sure. Number two, when you throw it to the running back, you have to make sure that you're the closest possible target for the running back to flip the ball to. Uh, if you guys don't know, by the way, hit, uh, flipping the ball is L1 or an R1 at the same time or both bumpers at the same time, whether you're an Xbox or PlayStation. Now, I am the closest target to the running back, so instead of flipping it to a lineman or something like that, which typically can happen, he should flip the ball to me when I do that. So I'm going to hit my bumpers, and you're going to see he flips the ball right back to the quarterback. Now, you, if you look down the field, the two receivers that were running crossing patterns are not doing that anymore. They're blocking. So you can see that they're pretty much, you know, glitched out to the point where they're not really having the success of the flea flicker that we're expecting. But the tight end that I put on the manual streak is still alive and he's still running his route. That's what makes this play a glitch is the manual streak that you created. And then you can see he's just running straight down the middle of the field with no coverage. So all I really have to do is just bomb it up and we have a very easy one play touchdown against just about any single defense in the game. And he's gone by a good 30 to 40 yards. He had to stop and come back to the ball that's how far gone he is so i'll go ahead and I'll do that one more time like i said the swing right the receiver on the streak are the only things you really need you have to sprint out get close to that running back so he gives the ball back to you and not a lineman and then boom very easy one play touchdown against any single defense in the game so i'm gonna go ahead and end the video there like i said a very short video i didn't uh you know i don't i don't have like gameplay footage of this and stuff like that because i don't typically run this play but if you guys want to see so I'm going to end the video there. I don't have gameplay footage of me running this in game because I typically don't run this get this play in game. I think this is a little bit cheesy, but if you need a play like this, if you're down late in the fourth quarter or something like that and you need a touchdown you can't think of anything else, this is definitely a good play to have in your bag. So if you want to see more videos like this, you know, videos that are borderline, uh, you know, glitchier than I really like to put out. Typically, the plays that I put out that I say are glitches are just really good design pass plays and stuff like that. But if you want to see more videos like this, as always, hit the like button and let me know in the comment section. Other than that, thanks for watching, man. My shit out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.